Alrighty, so here we, we'll just just dive straight into it, dude. Um, Ken, I'd love you to first just simple super quest, super simple question, which is just introduce introduce yourself, your industry, and kind of a bit of a you know one liner about what you do, man. So my name is Ken Okazaki. I'm based in Japan, and I help you know coaches, consultants, and marketers to elevate their brand online using video and help them with uh, video marketing. Yeah, man, super talented dude. Should check Ken out. Um, and what made you want to work with Andrew Rana and the, the Influencer Project? Yeah, you know, I got to say, um, it's because I knew nothing about LinkedIn. And uh, it, everybody I asked said that you guys were the guys that could get results. So since we were in the same community, there's already a level of trust there. And I just had a conversation with you, Rana. I was just like, hey, Rana, how does it work? You explained it to me. Uh, I think a week or so later, I officially started. You know, it was really simple. Uh, just, I think that the way we had a conversation is is pretty much how you how you taught me how to frame up conversations on LinkedIn <laughs> since. So it was natural. Felt uh, it didn't feel pushy at all. So that's 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 why. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome, dude. And um, hey, like diving in. I mean, there are a lot of different people who do LinkedIn. But what I'd love from you is just what was the sort of direct uh, and indirect um, value for you inside of your business from the program? So, you know, I like to measure, you know, indirect and direct value with cash. I know a lot of people have fulfillment and, you know, dreams come true and stuff like that. Uh, I, I personally like numbers a lot. So I'm just going to tell you what my direct results were. What's my return on my investment, right? To make sure that, you know, because I know you're recording this, I don't want to say anything that is going to be like a half truth. I want it to be hundred percent true. When we started working together, you know, I did the 90 day sprint with you, right? Within a month, I had my first contract, first contract under my belt as a direct, uh, result. And that was 41,000. I expanded that, that program. I mean, sorry, that contract with them to 61,000. So 61,000 direct result. Now through that indirect result, I mean, it's like my activities on LinkedIn, connecting with people that led to business. That's uh, another three deals that were 33,000, 36,000, or 41. So that brings a total to $171,000 uh, from your program. And right now I've got $41,000 pending. That means someone says they want to do it, they just haven't actually pulled the trigger. Uh, it's just about scheduling. So yeah. $171,000 under contract, $41,000. Uh, I wouldn't say pipeline, it's, uh, it's, it's a yes, just a matter of when. Yeah. So that's where I'm at as far as direct results of your program. And uh, I'd be happy to show that. I want to leave names out just to protect Dude. my clients. Yeah, uh, man. Yeah. I, I don't want you to say anything that's not true or something that you're uncomfortable with. This is just about. No, I, I just reviewed these numbers because sometimes I get excited on calls and I, you know, think yeah. numbers get big when you get excited. So I, I wrote them down. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. Awesome. So this was a, a 90 day sprint. Uh, we work like crazy and just me outside my comfort zone a couple of times. Uh, I'm glad it happened within that period of time. Uh, we, I just counted this up and uh, I got 171,000 us dollars under contract. Uh, these are not just in the pipeline. These are people who uh, some of them are on payment plans, but it's $171,000 of money. Uh, about half that's already been collected and I've got $41,000 pending. That means that somebody's already agreed to work with me. It's just a matter of scheduling it and then starting the billing. So when I say direct, that means that I took the course they gave me, that you guys gave me, I executed on schedule as you had uh, suggested, yeah. and I got these clients uh, just copying and pasting your strategies. Dude. That's ripper, man. That's a that's an excellent result, and you did the work, man. So kudos to you too. Um, I I guess Ken, like, there's what would you say to someone who was thinking about doing the influencer project, you know, the pro, uh, program? Like, you know, there are there are a lot of people who are skeptical. They often ask us, "Can we speak to one of your clients?" Uh, mm -hmm. So I guess what would you say to them? I'd say number one, call me. I'll make time for you. <laughs> and number two is. Uh, I think that a lot of people will be surprised at how simple it is. And the, the, the thing is that I think so many people get all this complexity in their heads, you know, about, you know, trip wires and funnels and webinars and, and this and that and the other. But uh, 
the process that I went through really just stripped away all that other stuff. Uh, number one, we needed zero tech except for a spreadsheet uh, and a LinkedIn account. That's, that's all the tech you need. And everything else is on its most basic level, getting your message down to a connection, right? And a lot of times, the reason you need people like Rana and people like, like Andrew in this process is because you've been looking at yourself through the lens of your own experience. And uh, there's been so many masks that we've, been, that we've been wearing that when they put a mirror on you, that the way they see you, they say, hey, you know what? I think we could lose that fluff and that fluff and let's just you know, use this message. And all those insights that they give inside the, the online trainings and through sessions we had together, that's what helped me just simplify my message, uh, connect with what they want more than the result I want, and then in the end, uh, the results speak for themselves. Yeah, bro. Super proud of you, Ken. Hey, man, it's been awesome. Um, I guess, look, simple question, but sometimes the hardest, is in one word, how would you describe the influence of project process? One word would be effective. That's it. Effective. Brilliant. If, if I had a, if I had a, a second word that I'd use... I think it would be uh, streamlined. You know, it's, it's not too much fluff. Just gets you the result that you need and what doesn't go into too much uh, other stuff that you don't need, <laughs> which, which does suck sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> um, dude, any other last thoughts about the process or your experience mm. that you think would help other people understand more about the program just from your experience absolutely absolutely i think that uh when i came into the program one thing that i would do differently if i did it again would be to to be less skeptical of the advice that i was given um i think that i did lose some opportunities through hesitation through trying to uh, take the advice and then you know put it through my experience, put it through the lens of my experience, and then coming up with something half-assed is what really ended up happening. But, uh, you know, there are situations where they said, do this and do that. And uh, I think that it, I would just blindly obey sooner if I had the chance to do it again. Uh, because uh, these guys do know what they're doing and they have had results that speak for themselves. And uh, I think I would have had even better results if I had hesitated less and acted quicker. Cool. Well, Ken, we're super proud of you, dude, and think you've done a great job, man. So you've nailed LinkedIn. And, uh, mate, thanks for the, taking the time. Hey, really appreciate sure. it. Sure. And uh, let me just uh, – actually, there is something I'd like to add. Yep. Um, just uh, I want to give an update where I'm at right now. Now, I did take a break from LinkedIn for a little bit because I had to reorganize my marketing. But where I'm at right now is I have uh, one virtual assistant who is working for about four hours a day on my LinkedIn leads. And with that, we are generating about seven to eight qualified calls, like appointments per week. And uh, these calls are converting at roughly 20%. We're working on that number, is a little fluctuation, but it evens out to about 20%. So um, if you are selling a high ticket program, and that means anything over $20,000, then I do recommend this as a much better ROI than most people have been getting running ads to webinars and things like that. Uh, it does take a bit more, uh, you, got, you got to work with people, you know? But yeah. I would recommend this for high ticket programs more than yeah. running ads in most cases. That's what I like to add. Dude, awesome, awesome bro. Thanks Ken, hey man, appreciate it.